the core concept of Sama Source is essentially that technology helps us unlock human talent wherever it may happen to reside that we should no longer be victims of the birth lottery, that no one should be stuck um, uh, in a, a poor place where they don't have a job simply because of an accident of birth. And what technology enables us to do now is to tap into this brain power through the internet through a concept that we built called microwork. So Sama Source's uh, mission is to give work to people who need it most using the internet, and we do that by sourcing large technology contracts from big enterprises like Google, LinkedIn, eBay, Walmart.com, and Microsoft, which are all our customers. And we, we gather this work and then we unitize it into small tasks and the small tasks we call micro work. And then those small tasks, we train people on the other side of the world to, to do them from local computer centers. So the tasks might be as simple as tagging an image. For example, we work with the largest image archive in the world that supplies images of celebrities for major tabloid magazines and, and media agencies. Um, we work with uh, companies that catalog images as part of major databases. We work with companies that use images for essential processes. Uh, for example, uh, one of the companies we work with uses our image tagging to teach cars to stop before they hit a pedestrian, to automate uh, the process of recognizing when a car is going to be close to a pedestrian. That's a new application of what's called machine learning. So a basic task like tagging an image and telling us whether there's a person in this image or whether this is uh, Rihanna or uh, Andy Samberg. <laughs> All of these uh, types of tasks can be used for major applications. Um, at the higher end of the spectrum, we do things like content production. So we actually train people in low-income countries who, uh, who speak English fluently to write content, write custom content for websites. And that's part of a growing need for people to have unique content on their website to draw customers to it. And this kind of work didn't exist 10 years ago, right? I mean, we didn't have these complicated machine learning algorithms that were teaching cars to, you know, to drive by themselves. Uh, and now that we do, there's a huge need for people to help with these small tasks with micro work. So uh, the way it works in practice is uh, I have a team based in San Francisco that sources work from major companies. So we source these contracts. We compete based on quality and cost and turnaround time, just like any other data services provider. And then on the back end, we have workers all over the world. We have about 900 workers globally now in East Africa, South Asia, and Haiti uh, who do these micro, these pieces of micro work from these local computer centers. And we partner with local entrepreneurs who run computer centers that maintain the infrastructure for us. For the customer, for Google or Microsoft, it's just like working with any other data services company. They can log into our platform and see the work being done in real time. But on the back end, it looks totally different. It looks like a man waking up in a rural village in northern Uganda and walking to a computer center where there's high-speed internet and air conditioning and a computer screen and where he's able to do these tasks through our technology platform.